Hello and welcome to Coding Demos. In this tutorial, I'm going to uh, learn how to customize the toolbar and to add a spinner inside the toolbar. So, as you can see in the app here, we have the toolbar uh, and has its own title. And then on the right side, there is a spinner and it's populated with a list of names. So, when you click on the spinner, then it will show the list of names. And when you click on any of the items inside the spinner, and then it will show a toast message with the name inside. So that's what we're going to develop in this tutorial. So let's go to uh, Android Studio and then we create a new project. And then we call it uh, Custom Toolbar. And then click Next. And then we'll choose API 16. We'll click Next. Uh, we'll choose Empty Activity. Click Next. And then click Finish. Okay. And uh, now we we'll go to the activity underscore main and then we we'll go to the design section and then uh, remove the default text field. All right. Now we need to go to the uh, resource and then values and then styles.xml and then we need to change the parent theme. So instead of that action bar, it should be no action bar. All right. Now we'll go to the activity underscore main. The action, the all action bar disappear because we need to add a manual, and we need to add a toolbar manually. So how do we do that? Well, you scroll all the way down to uh, the custom section. This, yeah, there's the custom section, and then you choose custom view, and then you look for the toolbar. That's the toolbar. You click OK, and then you drag it on top there. OK. The second thing is, we need to change the layout width for the toolbar. Instead of wrap content, we need to make it match parent. Second thing is, we need to give a background color for the toolbar. So we'll say color, and then color primary. And then the other thing is, we need to change the, the ID. So we'll call it uh, toolbar. Okay, now we'll go to the design section to see what we did. Okay, so far, um, all right, and there's some space on the eight on the side, so we need to remove that. We'll go back to the this uh, the XML session section and then basically remove the padding from the root layout, and then let's go back again to the design. All right, now everything looks good. Now we need to add uh, the spinner. So we scroll all the way to the top and then we look for the spinner. There's the spinner. We scroll it, drag it here. You can drag it anywhere. Ah, regarding this rendering problems, it's because of uh, API 24. So basically you try to downgrade to, uh, sorry, choose downgrade or actually choose the previous uh, API version. So in this case, uh, it is API 23. So I click on that, then the spinner is visible again. Now, we take this spinner and then we add it inside the toolbar. So uh, take this out and then add it inside the toolbar. Let me close the toolbar. Give some space. There it is. And then we need to change the ID. I think the ID. I leave the ID as it is. It should be fine. Okay. Now the tool. Now the spinner is in the toolbar. Uh, let's give some. Uh, margin on the right so that it won't stick too much to the screen so we'll give it Android uh, margin right I will give it a 10 dp and do Android margin layout margin end 10 dp okay yeah now it should be fine another thing is we need to add uh, uh, the app theme so let's create a declaration for this okay you see when you create a declaration there's the xml xml ns app uh, i'll tell you why we're adding this later on so it's theme and then equals to add style uh, slash theme overlay and uh, app compare dot dark action bar that's correct now we'll inside the spinner we'll add another 
app but this time it's pop-up thing equals to add style slash uh, theme overlay and then we look for the yes theme overlay dot app compact dot light choose that okay now let's go back to the design side okay we won't see much of we can't see anything from what we did here but once we run the app we will see the actual output now let's go back to the main activity and then we create we declare the, uh, the views that we just added which is the toolbar and the spinner so we'll say toolbar and then we call it M and we call it my toolbar and then another one is for the spinner spinner we call it my spinner and inside the main activity we call my toolbar equals to toolbar find view by ID and toolbar and the same thing for my spinner spinner find view by ID and then now we need to create the array adapter so before, before we create the array adapter let's first create the uh, the values the string array of the names here as is shown in the app so we do that by going to uh, values resource values and then strings.xml and then we create the string resource here string oops should be string yeah oops string string array string array we call it names and then we add in item uh, we call this we full exactly not exactly but just to for the demo it should start with Josh right Josh and then I'll do this uh, I'll add the items as well okay so I've created the list of uh, names here I, I added them inside the string array which is called names now we go back to the main activity and then we create the array, the array adapter so array adapter uh, type string call it my adapter equals to new array adapter and then for the context it will be main oops main activity dot this main activity of this and then comma we'll give it the resource uh, for this resource since we will be adding uh, we'll be adding custom spinner inside the toolbar so we need to uh, create a custom uh, spinner uh, sorry custom item but we will do that later on let me sh let me first uh, fill out the uh, the parameters for the array adapter so it's going to be main activity dot this and then uh, the resource layout will be for now we'll choose the the default resource layout and then we'll change to the custom one I need to show you a comparison between the current layout that we need to choose and in the w and the custom one that we will be creating uh, creating it later on so it's going to be android r layout dot simple list item one and then we need to provide the resource which is the uh, get resources dot get string array r dot uh, oops r dot string r dot array and then names alright then we need to do my adapter dot set drop down view resource that will be r dot oops android dot r dot layout simple spinner drop down item and then we set the adapter we set the adapter uh, my spinner dot set adapter my adapter and then we need to call my spinner dot set on item selected listener we're, we're doing this so that whenever the user clicks on any item inside the uh, the spinner 
we will show the selected value in a toast message so we'll be calling set on item selected listener new on item selected listener and then inside the on item selected method we will uh, call toast dot make text we provide the ma uh, main activity as the current contest context dot so main activity dot this and then uh, the value would be my spinner dot get selected item dot to string and then the toast length would be short and dot show okay so my spinner dot get selected item it's basically uh, getting whatever value that's being selected from the spinner and then make it as a two string so that it is readable and then I'm, s I'm putting the value inside a toast and then I'm showing the toast all right uh, okay now let's try and run the app okay the app is in the emulator all right okay we forgot to add the title of the app in the toolbar no worries but look at this look at the spinner you see the arrow is white okay but when you click on okay the background is white no problem but the title is black now the reason why it's black because we need to uh, we need to create a custom uh, layout just for the text view to appear white uh, when you when you go to the spinner oh sorry the array adapter and then you can see that <coughs> sorry you can see that we have you we are you actually using what we're using the the spinner list item one so we're using the built-in android layout file we need to change that and then we need to create our own separate file and then we change the text to white so that it will appear as white uh, in the selection here no worries it's it's not it's not really that complicated we'll go to the layout and then we we'll create a new file and but when you for the root element it shouldn't be linear layout it should be text view text view and then we call this custom spinner item click OK and then we'll add Android text color and then we'll set it to white uh, Android color and then we'll give it white color alright now we go to the main activity and then here in the Android or Android layout that simple list item one we'll change that and they will give it the resource file that we've just created so it's r dot layout dot uh, custom spinner item now we'll try to run the app again and see how oh, okay before we run the app I almost forgot that we need to set the title for the spinner so it will be my toolbar dot set title and then get resources because we need to get the app name from the strings.xml file so we need to do a get resources dot get string so it will be r dot r dot string dot app name that's the one now we'll try to run the app again and see the output so click on the run okay all right all right now we have the uh, the app name in the toolbar and there you see the selected value from the spinner is white so when you click all right now everything looks good except we need to take this spinner and then put it all the way to the right side of the toolbar okay let's do that now we go to the activity underscore main and let me close this just to give you guys some space to uh, let me close this all right now let's go to the uh, XML, se uh, XML section and then we'll go to the spinner and then we change the uh, the layout position so we'll do it like this Android layout 
underscore uh, layout gravity sorry gravity equals uh, right now it says that here is I should use end instead of right okay and now we'll run the app again and see uh, the the output so let me stop this run it again all right there you go there you have it you have we have the spinner towards the right side you click on that show Sarah that's that's fine that's good all right now let's go back to the the activity underscore main and then let me tell you why uh, okay let me tell you why we added these uh, two values here the app theme uh, okay for example if we remove this then the text would be black and it's basically everything here will be black let me let me show you okay I'll remove this line okay and then we run the app and then I'll show you the output all right you see we have the title is black and you see the arrow for the spinner is black even though for the uh, the selected text is white because we are currently using a custom layout and for the for the list is white except the the values in the 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 UI component inside the toolbar is in black color that's why we're adding this line app dot theme and then we're giving this style dot dark action bar because when uh, use when we use a dark action bar that means the values will be in white if we use uh, light action bar then the uh, the color would be in black that's one thing now we'll go to the spinner and then we have the app pop-up theme so this pop-up theme if we don't use light then whenever you click on the spinner the the drop down list of the spinner would be uh, in black color let's remove this and I'll show it to you stop it and then run the app all right now let's click on the spinner again there you see it's black so everything is everything looks okay it's white except the background of the drop down list from the spinner is black that's why we're adding the app pop-up theme and they will give it a style of app compact dot light so that it is in white color so we run run it again All right. Now we have the toolbar color looks fine, white. The selected item is white. The arrow is white. You click back. There you go. The background for the drop-down list is white. So I click again on other, in any other values, then you get them. You get the selected value shown in a toast message. And that's basically how you how you add a tool how you add a, a spinner inside a toolbar. If you like this tutorial, please leave your comment in, this, uh, in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and happy coding.